What is up, my clan? Clintus McGinnis here, back in the world of Destiny, and Rise of Iron Day 2 is in the books, and oh my gosh, we've learned so much after two days, you guys. Uh, first and foremost, the biggest question I get all the time is, what is the best way to raise your light level up fastest? And the answer is heroic strikes. Uh, blues that drop, not engrams, but the actual blue drops that you get from uh, heroic strikes can be up to 365. And if you have a skeleton key and you get to open up the chest when you kill the boss, those drops can be up to 385. Now granted, that you won't you won't find a 385 drop if you're like 350, all right? It's not gonna happen. It'll go up that high. So you have a potential to get, you know, three, four, five light higher gear from the chest and from the drops that you get from the blues. So as soon as you're done with the story mission, as soon as you're done with the quests, as soon as that you're done with all of the, the, the regular stuff, jump into that heroic strike playlist with your best gear you have and just grind your face off okay remember don't leave go to don't leave orbit don't go to orbit because you'll break that uh chain of extra loot dropping um and um and like i said if you get a chance to get omnigal you know how to do the farm the arm omnigal right you kill you tell her and kill her before she leaves kill yourself and do it over and over again like you're, you're following for a grass of malloc same thing that's your fastest way but of course you have to have make sure you have tether you have to have a golden gun there's a way to do it and you know that's that's the best way to the fastest way to do it um, but yeah, I, uh, arc burn is the modifier this week. So here's my current loadout. We literally just got done doing, uh, doing heroic strikes. And this is where I'm at 352 on my Titan. I don't know if I move gear over what my warlocks at, I would assume 351 most likely. Um, my Zala supercell being arc burn. I pushed this to 354. It's my top primary. It's my highest uh, level gun so far. And again, just doing this because of the strikes and because arc burns on use this gun and max it out even even though i'm not going to use this gun for anything else this is the best way to get the higher light gear. so if i can get more primaries then i can put it into my favorite primary um i did get these two drops from them i got a 351 does not bow and a 352 treads upon stars from the chests using the skeleton keys um i did get a couple blues that were pretty big and i infused my ldr to 351 and my the waiting at 352 and i got a couple of heavies the highest one right now is 351 with this harold quillen's terminus i think my Iron Gallahorn is the same, but obviously you can't use, uh, you can only use one exotic at a time. My Ghost Shell is 352. I was able to unlock Memory of Timur. Uh, that's my second artifact, and I pushed that to 353. Uh, I got this blue mark literally on the last mission, and it's 354. Uh, I haven't decided yet where I'm going to infuse it, if I'm going to infuse it on my Titan or if I'm going to push it over to my Warlock. Haven't made a decision yet. I'm going to hold off for now. Uh, got these 353 boots. Got a couple other ones here, 351s. Uh, I've got the Days of Iron Greaves. This is your uh, rank four package from the book. And check out the dude, I love the ornaments. The flaming wolves are so good. They're so good. Question for you guys, let me know in the comment section. Are the rolls the same on everyone's gear? I th I want to say they are, because I opened two packages for my gauntlets and they're the exact same roll. Hand hand uh, loaded for can hand cannons and two grenade perks, right? They were the exactly the same from two packages. So I'm wondering if they're the same for everybody. Um, but I am loading that up. I uh, got 353 on that, 351, 353, and 350. I'm, I'm lacking in the helmet department so far. Um, new guns I got today. I got this hand cannon from Future War Cult. It's called the Whale. It's got Firefly, Perfect Balance, Armor Piercing Rounds, True Shot, and Sure Shot. I never know which one's better. I think I'm going to go with Sure Shot. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's really the only new gun that I got today. Oh, this shotgun. Oh, my gosh. The Dead Orbit Vendor Shotgun, you guys, is a god roll pvp shotgun go buy it it's a god roll check this out range finder hammer forged quick draw C cqb ballistics it's amazing everyone from uh from bungie or the guys that went to play out with bungie said that's like the best the best shotgun you can buy right now it's it's amazing um also one last thing uh before we leave one thing that i did learn when i went from my warlock to my titan i tried to move over the ornament and right away the ornament would not work um once i did the first couple story missions and i was able to talk to this chick right here uh tyra i was able to come inside here and attune the um attune the ornament or the i'm sorry the, the artifact so you have to attune it which means you know you walk up to this fire and hit it bam and it, you know lights up the fire then you can use the ornament then you can use the artifact I'm thinking ornaments because I don't have any. Um, but yeah, so then the good news is is each character, you only need to buy one uh, artifact per character, and all your characters can use it once you can talk to Tyra and once you attune it. So I was able to attune this 
and then I bought this one. This is the Timmer one. They're the third one that she has right now. Probably not one of the better ones. Uh, like I said, out of the three, it's the one I'm really not like, I don't really need it, but I'm gonna buy it anyways with my Hunter this week just because she's selling it and you never know how long it's gonna take for her to sell it again. And that would be the memory of Silamar. And in the Crucible, resistance to damage over time attacks is greatly increased. So that is uh, basically for Thorn, right? To, to the Thorn and the uh, you know Solar Grenades, Arc Bolt Grenades from the Warlock. So there you go, guys. Day two, Rise of Iron. The grind is real. Get in there, grind up, get ready for raid. Get, get raid ready, man. 365. 360 is the minimum, like the recommended. I'm hoping to get 365, 370 before Friday. Um, I will be streaming it live with my clan, 10 a.m. Pacific. We're going to be jumping into the, the Wrath of the Machine and, you know, going for some fun, man. It's going to be epic. We're going to be doing it all day long. Um, I'm predicting eight hours to get it completed, maybe nine. We'll see. Uh, we'll get, our clan's pretty smart and pretty avid when it comes to uh, playing Solid Destiny. Uh, tomorrow's Solid. stream, 9 a.m. Pacific. That's Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific. I was going to jump into the story mission with my Hunter and do it all over again with my Hunter, but now I'm thinking I want to go straight into Heroic Strikes do the daily and try to get to that 365 light level. Once I get to 365, then maybe jump over to my hunter and uh, and do the do the story mission. So we'll see. Tomorrow's tomorrow's uh, stream is up in the air, and then after we do the raid on Friday, I'm really looking forward to just doing some PvP on the weekends, guys. That's kind of my tentative schedule. Hope you're enjoying these long streams. If you haven't had a chance to watch them, the videos will go up as archives on my channel. The 12-hour stream I did yesterday went up like sometime at midnight this, uh, this morning. And then today's stream will go up sometime tonight when it's ready as well. So I don't expect you guys to watch the entire thing. But if you ever want to kind of scroll through, it's like a DVR. You can kind of like scroll through and see. You can watch story missions. You can watch quests. You can watch strikes. You can watch whatever you want. Um, it's a really good time. We had two epic streams. And I'm looking forward to two more. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your best exotics that you got? What are some of the best gear that you got? What are some of your best experiences? If you have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some more Rise of Iron.